Tooling around the state fair in a golf cart instead of walking was only one of the ways Fred Thompson repeatedly set himself apart from the rest of the pack on his first visit as a prospective presidential candidate to the first caucus state of Iowa. This was about introductions. If I were you, I'd be asking, uh, who is this guy and why is he here? I want to talk to you a little bit about that. I don't take anything for granted anymore. But Iowa Republicans felt taken for granted when Thompson skipped last week's Ames straw poll. Out of 14,000 ballots, he came in a distant seventh with only 203 votes. We're ready for you to make that decision, Thanks, Brad. No. He says it's about doing things differently. I wasn't there when they made those rules, so I'm not abiding by them. And uh, we've got plenty of time. <clears throat> and the occasional slip-up, like wearing Gucci loafers at a country fair, can be countered by other images, like holding squealing piglets and hanging out with Iowa's GOP U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley who did not appear at the fair with other candidates. An average of national polls puts Thompson in second, and when it comes to conservative GOP orthodoxy, he casts himself in lockstep. I am unabashedly pro-life, I am pro-Second Amendment, and I, don't, and I don't apologize for the United States of America. This country has shed more blood for the freedom of other people than all the other nations in the history of the world combined, and I'm tired of people feeling like they've got to apologize for America. He chatted up Miss Iowa pork and paid his respects to Big Red, a 1,200-pound boar that rarely moves. In an interview with Fox News, Thompson suggested that GOP voters are interested in him because they find the rest of the field lacking. Republicans realize that we got to do some things better, or we're going to get beat next time, and we can't afford... Uh, in this country uh, for us to get beat next time. But he has had organizational problems. Three campaign managers so far, and he's not yet even officially in the race. But the crowds are okay. We're trying to, to do here in a few months what people have taken a lot longer uh, time to do. It's just a matter of getting your uh, team together, getting your act together, and raising uh, some starter money. And by coming here today, Thompson earns the distinction of the last White House hopeful to visit the Iowa State Fair this year. And there's another distinction. He's the only candidate who came here and didn't spend any money on all of the food. Deep fried Twinkies. I'm just saying. Brett? Deep fried Twinkies. Man. Well, Carl, he looks like a presidential candidate. I mean, did he get a lot of grief for, for not being declared? You can wipe off the powdered sugar, as you tell me. Makeup doesn't cover powdered sugar. <laughs> yeah, Brad, uh, a lot of times he would walk away from a handshaking session, meeting folks, going up to a booth where the vendors were at, and people would say, I wish he'd really get in. There is clearly a tremendous amount of impatience for Fred Thompson. There is this pent-up appetite for a different type of Republican candidate, one that the conservatives believe they can get behind who brings star power, and yet they're frustrated by the indecisiveness or what they perceive to be the postponing constant delays in Fred Thompson rolling out his candidacy. We're hearing it's going to be in the first week of Labor Day and of course they've already made it clear they intend to come to our debate September 5th in, at, in, at UNH in New Hampshire, Brett. Yeah, and critics, Carl, are saying that that Thompson is is frankly lazy, that he doesn't have the fire in his belly for a national campaign. Did you get a sense of of how that all is going to play out in coming weeks? You, you can, yeah, you can certainly begin to hear the sounds of the fire in the belly from the candidate. The question is whether or not he has the sort of long-term stamina. Question, pe people have raised questions about his energy level. He took a number of breaks here at, during the course of his travels around the state fair. He did walk for about 25 to 30 minutes with Senator Grassley, but for the most part, he was motoring around and, and a lot of times heading off to the VIP tent to take a little cooler before he went off to the next, to the next group. All right, Carl, thanks a lot.